Coming from Rochester City Council, which passed a measure today formally asking New York State to monitor the city school district's finances. The school district announced last week that it went over budget by a shocking $30 million. Atia Collins joins us now live from City Hall, where the meeting took place today. Atia, what happened? That's right, Maureen. City Council is calling the budget deficits a crisis. They said that once they approve the budget, they don't have much say in how the district spends the funds. According to City Council President Scott, the only way to fix any problems is with state oversight. To say that this happened after the budget was approved and the conditions are what they are now, it was a reflection of our, our intense concern. Uh, about how it is impacting the city taxpayers overall. The resolution requests state officials to monitor and place constraints on the district's finances. The city says they have recently been put on credit watch and that the district's financial troubles are impacting the city's bond ratings. But Board of Education Commissioner Powell says this is not the case. That my research into the city's borrowing suggests that if there's a difficulty in the city's bond rating, it's because of the city's borrowing. She cites repeated overspending by the city and says the district's budget has gotten smaller. Powell went on to say that the board acknowledges the problem, but that the budget should never have been as low as it was in the first place. We're uh, always on the edge of um, insolvency because we do not get the funding that we need from the state that the state has acknowledged itself we should be getting under the contract for excellence. Many city council members expressed distrust in the board going forward. They said a state takeover was the best option. It would take many years to readjust the tax basis, uh, probably much longer than we have at this point. The most efficient way to do it is to ask for the state to step in. The next step is for a state to pass their own legislation to officially start monitoring the district's budget. In Rochester, News 8, Atia Collins. All right, Atiyah, thank you. The city does contribute about $120 million every year to the city school district's budget. The district's budget is $800,000 or whereabouts in that area.